Action 10 Chief Meteorologist Sharon Ray with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. And yes, that weather is going to cooperate for Buck Day's rodeo as well as all the activities this weekend. It's going to be quite warm if you're out and about uh, for the weekend as temperatures are going to stay in those mid to upper 80s. Coming down a little bit because the wind starts to shift around to the southeast, bringing in some of that slightly cooler air from the ocean. But all in all, it looks like great weather ahead. Outside right now, it is pretty warm out there. It's dry. We have a pleasant evening in shape. Temperatures are still holding at 87 in Corpus Christi. Look at that. 90 degrees in Kingsville right now. Beeville, you're at 89 degrees. So it's warm out there. Uh, it is going to be a beautiful night with clear skies. Temperatures this evening, perfect to get outdoors as we drop down into the uh, 60s. In fact, by morning, we're at 63 degrees and the winds are going to be very light to start the day tomorrow. Speaking of light winds, for this time of year, they're only going to reach up to about 15 miles an hour at most tomorrow. Light winds shifting to the east. Temperatures are warm again. We reach into the mid to upper Upper 80s. Even the beaches are going to be warm. We reach into the upper 70s to near 80 right at the beaches tomorrow. So abundant sunshine across the area and with the winds being fairly light, perfect for bicycling too. You have to take advantage of that lighter wind tomorrow and even into Saturday. We do have clear skies right now, but I think we'll see a few high thin clouds moving in as these come in from the southwest tomorrow during the day, but nothing much with that. It is a very quiet weather pattern for us the next few days as the storm system that brought the rain last night is pulled to the east. This higher pressure is going to be our dominant weather feature the next couple of days, but it is going to shift to the east and that'll bring our winds back around. Now tomorrow, notice the wind still most of the day coming in from the land and that's going to keep us warm and dry and lower humidity, but and the wind speeds are fairly light tomorrow. But as we get into Saturday, that wind shifts to the south and that's going to start pumping in some moisture. We'll see some uh, low clouds returning, but not until about Sunday night and Monday. They're really going to thicken up out there. So we still have the weekend to enjoy a lot of sunshine and the wind Saturday picks up a little bit and it's going to pick up a bit more and become more gusty for Sunday. All right, so with that, humidity is going to be climbing. Yeah, it gets a bit sticky out here by early next week. In fact, rather humid here by next Tuesday as those dew points start to rise into the lower 70s. So getting back to reality here uh, for the coastal bend. Our right, sand fest this weekend looks good. As I mentioned, the beaches are still going to be pretty comfortable out there in the upper 70s, coming down just a little towards Sunday. That wind starts to pick up a little, but Hey, certainly not too much wind the next couple of days to blow the sand around. It looks good with lots of sunshine for Sandfest. Here is your seven day forecast and it is brought to you by AutoNation's Super Zero event. Now get new cars and trucks with absolutely zero do it signing. Visit AutoNation.com. Well, it's dry the next few days. You can see on the seven day forecast, there's not a whole lot going on. The nights start to warm up just a little bit as we head into the weekend. We still have plenty of sunshine Sunday night and into Monday. I think the clouds are going to return and we're not going to see much sunshine early next week. Uh, with that, uh, still holding off on the measurable rain chances, but we'll have to watch that as we head into the middle of the week. Some very weak disturbances coming in, but right now it just looks humid, mainly dry. And look at how sticky it's going to get those nights only dry dropping into the lower 70s next week.